Alright. So first let's go with clubs. This is your and then we got verbs. Okay? So we've got about maybe 15 in total that you haven't got before. The rest you have. Um, so clubs. So dole. Dole is very commonly used in a lot of clubs in Japanese that are culture based. Okay? So we've got kado, which is the same ka is over here with hanabi. It's this is hana. So kado is what flower arranging. Yes. Yeah, ikebana or kado is very popular in Japan. It's, and one great thing about it is if you want, if you like it, I mean, they have visas. If you study it for six months in America and you have someone that's going to teach you it in Japan, you can get like a full cultural visa to go and study it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. Wait, is it just like absorbing or like arranging specifically? Well, Japanese with, with ikebana or kado, what they do a lot of times is that they have a little plate with spikes like this. And then they try to arrange the flower on three levels. So you got your bottom flower, you've got like a canopy flower, and then you've got an upper area. And so they always try to have like a three-level presentation. And that's usually what you see with Ikebana. I don't know anything about it other than that. But if you if you really get into it, I used to I had to translate this one um, event in Kyoto called Hanatoro. And they literally lit all the streets with candles, and then they had all these flower presentations. Yeah, because it was the beginning of spring. It was like right at the end of February, beginning of March. So it's like, hey, spring's here. Here's the flowers, right? Um, so we've got a lot of dole here. We've got we've got ken dole, which is what it's like sword fighting. Okay. Even in elementary school, kids do it. Yeah, bros. Teach We've got children. judo, judo, which of course is judo. Okay, ju is the so is the kanji for um, be bendable. Okay, we've got sado, which will make you sado if you're part of this club, because that's tea ceremony. <laughs> which is sado, and it's one of the few times that cha is written sa, okay, it's not chado, sado, okay, and then what you guys did yesterday was shodo, which is what, calligraphy, calligraphy. yeah, Literally the art or the way of writing. Shodo. And then we've got ones that you know already. Sure. So we've got suye, which is swimming. We've got ones like this. And what the one? Piano. Piano. Continuing that light, we've got you want to read it? Guitar. guitar. Oh. Okay. Which is guitar. We've got and this is written with an extra e. Eh. Sound it out. So, but it. Ne. Now, somebody asked me in the previous, why is it just a? Eh? I think the reason why it's not just a little extender with but it, could but it, but it. And a lot of people shorten that and say but it, right? So this is, it, with the eh, it 
kind of makes it like a little snooty, a little French thing. And so we got now our general ones. We've got this, uta, which is what? Singing. Singing. We've got et, which is et, art or pictures. Ne. Um, and then we've got probably our final one, which is this. Not written too well, so him. Which is what? Karate. Which literally means open hand. Karate. Open hand, closed mind. Sounds like something out of Cobra Kai. All right. <laughs> So then we move on to verbs. These are extra verbs in addition to your basic ones that you learned Japanese one. So we've got denwa o suru. That means to do what? Denwa. What does denwa mean? Denwa o suru. Call someone on the phone. So now you guys know how to say, okay, that's all they want to Call the cops. Okay, we've got two verbs of naku. Naku can mean to cry, or it can mean any no noise that an animal makes. They're different verbs. So naku is uh, water standing. The old form of this kanji used to be water in your eyes. This used to be not good, right? But they changed it. It makes a lot of sense to this one. You're not going to learn it yet. So um, this one, on the other hand, this naku, which is animal making noise, is water with, uh, I think it's a bird. No, 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 it's mouth. That's what it is. Mouth with a bird, right? So it's literally a bird's mouth, like, right? That's naku. So inu, inu ga naku. Neko ga naku. Meow. Tori ga naku. Nezumi ga naku. I can't do it. Uh, mouse. Hamster ga naku. So. so those two verbs, okay? Um, next is yobu. Yobu is to call someone, like literally to call them over. The form I want you to learn is. Blank o yonde kudasai. Blank o yonde kudasai, which means call me blank. Okay? So, for example, if you have a difficult name, like your name's hard to pronounce, like my daughter, Istis, I shouldn't say your name on that. But you can say blank o yonde kudasai. A o yonde kudasai. B o yonde kudasai. Ne? Okay, so this is very helpful. Blank, o yonde kudasai. Please call me blank. So a lot of people, for example, I should say myself, my formal name is Mashu in Japanese. I just say, Mato, yonde kudasai. Mato, yonde kudasai. Just call me Matt. Okay, so yobu. Next is asobu, which we kind of learned already today. To play. Okay. Yes. Why would it be blocked after you stop? Why would it be blocked? Yonde kudasai. Well, I remember I taught this two or three days ago, maybe maybe a week ago. So the bu ending, like asobu, turns to nde. Yobu. A double? Oh. No, that's right. Kudasai. Uh, well, kudaru is please, blank. Tatte kudasai. Suate kudasai. Right? Yonde kudasai. Please call me blank. Okay. Hoko no shitsumo, eh? Oh. 
Does anyone, what are you, what are you asking here? I'll edit it out. I will ask mom. Eh, more I will ask mother. She's just gonna yell at you. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be disappointed. Eh? Just continue, continue. Okay, I, I don't know what you're saying. Asobu, so Asobu is to play. Okay. And then, uh, let's see. Aruku. Did we learn Aruku? So, to walk. Uh, hashiru. Is to run. That's a do drop. So, it's hashite kudasai. Hashita. And I think that's it. We already know Utao to sing. So for those of you who are musicians, guitar, piano, anything that involves plucking or something close to it, we use hiku. Guitar o hiku. Violin o hiku. Piano hiku. Okay. When it comes to something like trump trumpet or something like that, we use blow, which is fuku. Clarinet or fuku. F flute or fuku. Yes. Why would a piano be fuku? Well, because they have strings on the inside. So even though they're beating the strings, it's still considered hiku. And one of the reasons why is the traditional koto, the Japanese instrument koto, kind of looks like a piano. So I think they just kind of, they just kind of, you know, said, yeah, go with it. Because harpsichord, you know, harpsichords, they actually pluck the, pluck the strings. So, nobody plays it, but, yeah. It's kind of annoying music. And then uh, drums, you could probably use tataku for that, tataku. Which means to beat. Reminds me of Walt Whitman. Beat, beat drums. Okay.